Richard and his sister Joyce are watching television. Suddenly, there is a blackout. The whole house becomes dark. Richard uses the Torchlight app on his smartphone to brighten up the room a bit. You know, says Joyce, we've been using electricity to operate all kinds of electrical appliances for our convenience. For example, our smartphone, television, lights, air conditioner, and many more. But have you ever given a thought about what electricity is? What is an electric current? Let's Google and find out, says Richard. They discover that materials can be grouped as electrical conductors or electrical insulators. In the atoms of electrical conductors, the outermost electrons are bound loosely to the nucleus. They can escape easily from the atoms to become free electrons. These free electrons move randomly in all directions. When a source of electric charges, like a dry cell, is connected to a conductor and the circuit is complete, all these free electrons, also known as electric charges, are driven to flow in only one direction. This flow of electrons in one particular direction constitutes an electric current. The magnitude of the electric current is equal to the rate of flow of these electric charges. The greater the rate of flow of these electric charges, the greater is the electric current. 